In this episode, we can see the Zumdart dryer system. This is a simple block diagram of the air compressor in Zumdart system. This is water, this is the compressor and intercoolers. Then the final, after the final stage, it is coming to the after cooler, which is then the after cooler is going to plant a receiver. Then we have our pre-filter, then our instrument air dryer, then after filter, then inter instrument air receiver. This is a normal uh, block diagram in an instrument air system. In the compressor, normally uh, that is reciprocating or uh, 30 volt compressor, it will be having multiple stages only. In between two stages, intercoolers are there. When the compressor is used in uh, offshore or some marine, they use only air cooled. Air cooled is of two types. One is induced type point for cooling, and enforced type point is used for cooling. And normal type is a heat exchanger which is used for cooling water as a cooling media. If the intercooler system, how it works, the 7 degree 10 Fahrenheit or 5 degree centigrade temperature is reduced, it means 1% power we are saving in between the two stages. So that means your coolers are working perfect and there is no choke in the cooling water tubes or something. The in the tube means then the intercooler is working perfect. And in between the cooling intercoolers and after cooler cooling is per, cooling is working perfectly. I mean the each, each and in the end of the five each stages the cylinder temperature will be equal. That means your coolers are working normal. Then it is going to the final stage and after cooler. After after cooler the Cooled air is stored in the plant air reservoir from where it is going to our instrument air dryer system. Our instrument air, the instrument air dryer, there are two types of conventional and non conventional type is there. And conventional, conventional type, basically, are used which is of heated, uh, heated type and heatless dryer. Heatless dryer is a non conventional type. In the heated dryer, normally they will go for 8 hours service period and 8 hours regeneration. The regeneration Bed will be heated for 4 hours and cooling will be for 4 hours or we can select 5 hours and 3 hours cooling and another one is a heatless dryer which is normally 5 minutes one, one bed will be on line and another will be uh, in an ideal condition and at the end of the 5th fifth minute the both the bed will be equalized and the pressure in the first bed will get depressed by purging by reducing the pressure that is the heatless dryer Heatless dryer life is 5 years and heat, heated dryer life is normally 2 to 3 years. The desiccant which is used to remove the moisture is of two types activated alumina and silica gel. The activated alumina is now also used in silica gel, which is silica gel is used in the view glass also, even when the activated alumina is used. And if there is any abnormality in them, but we can find out with it. The silica gel is of three types. It will change color blue to purple pink because of the copal chloride and orange to dark green or color as due to methyl violet. And another one third type is white color which is normally used in our uh, used in packets for um, absorbing moisture in any food package and other things, medicines and everything. Another type of dryers is membrane type. The membrane type was also normally used in offshore and marine. The membrane permeability is used to allow the small water particles to pass through and it will not allow the larger molecules of nitrogen oxygen which will go out and collect it and exit the unit as a dry air. The membrane permeability is a hollow membrane tube and the collected water particle which is go through the membrane will collect outside the tube in this chamber itself which will be depressed using the dry air by using recirculating the dry air. Normally 10 to 20 percent of your dry air will be used. So 80 percent will get and uh, the dry air is coming to the instrument receiver. In another type is regenerated type dryer. This is economical but uh, purity wise uh, compared to other two dryers it will be uh, lesser than the uh, desiccant type and membrane type. This removes water by cooling the compressed air temperature uh, by admitting the refrigerated coolers and that will cause the condensation. The condens condensed uh, moisture is removed with in it, which is uh, by means of the in in inside uh, track. Then that phenomenon is called absorption. It is a, it is a physical phenomenon which is used in desiccant, which is reversible. 
By, by this phenomena only, desiccant is used in all dryers to remove the moisture. Then the dew point what we are getting in the instrument and dryer is minus 40 degree centigrade and let it also it will go. So instrument air which is used in all the instruments to operate the pneumatic walls is based on this principle only. So the instrument and dryer system is a vital unit in any, any plant, any industry, whether it is a process industry or a gas industry or refinery or as the main plant for the utilities. Hope you will understand this uh, process. We will see in the next episode with other uh, polymeric systems and other things.